Rome. <laughs> Hi. He's eating some snacks and watching Lightyear, his favorite, as you can as you can tell. Hey. Yeah. Get some natural light flowing. Hello everyone. I have not posted on here in god knows how long this is also just uneven and i whatever i figured today for this video we go back to the basics we do a little getting ready with us because he has to get ready too we both just got out of the shower we're down to sh like we're showering now together which is like might not feel like a big deal or might not seem like one but he's two and we've been bathing him his entire life so now for him to, like get in the shower and take a shower is like it's cute but we're still getting used to it because it's a transition if you know you know okay i recently cleaned his drawers and it looks so good i love that you're just chewing all on the camera dude <laughs> do you want to see yourself look look He's too into his movie, he doesn't care. Um, what are we wearing today? Okay, I think we're gonna go with this little ready to roll truck thing. And probably just some black sweatpants. And he has so many mismatch socks, like I don't know where anything that matches is. Oh wait, these match. Hello. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 hey. 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 <laughs> Mommy, daddy. Daddy. Oh God. He's dirty. He's dirty. When I tell you guys this is all day long, I mean it. Look at that cute boy. He's running away because he sees I have the clothes in my hand. <laughs> this is the start of every day. Mommy. What? Mommy. Huh? Huh? You gotta put clothes on. Alright, buddy. Get over here. I'm gonna eat your apples. No. Oh, God. Guys. Normally he has an undershirt on, but I have to wash all of them, so. Ready? Mm -hmm. Put your arm through. Good job. Other arm. Now some pants. Your hands are freezing. Stand up. Some socks. Give me a foot. So like he's at an age right now where he pretty much understands like everything I'm saying. He's still learning. Uh, but he's also learning to repeat everything I say. So... That's fun. If you know me, you know. If you know, you know. Let me fix your shirt. You know what? Good enough, okay? This, this is the hard part. This is doing his hair, because he hates it. He hates doing his hair. Look. Mommy, what are we about to do? Are you, are you throwing apples? We're not throwing apples, okay? Sit down, please. This is this is the setup I normally have to do to do his hair to distract him. So like, <laughs> my office chair, sn <laughs> a snack, and a movie. And I really have no idea how people don't like have their kid in front of the TV all day because I would literally go insane if Disney Plus did not exist. This is the, what is this called? Not having it, leave-in, ultimate detangling moisturizer. He hates getting his hair brushed, I try. So I found this, it's by Aunt Jackie's Kids Curls and Coils. It smells so good. Can you smell it? Mmm. Mmm. Not sponsored, but if you want to, we use it. So I literally just run my hands through his hair. He hates it, but move back. It's easier than the brush, I guess. But I love this product because it literally, it just feels so soft, like so soft. It gets his curls popping um, and it smells great. He's just crunching away at these apples. 
Um, but this is mostly all I ever really do to his hair, uh, because if I had to like braid it or anything, that would be a fight. He does need a haircut though, like some of these pieces need, need help. But we're just gonna blend it in. <laughs> mommy, mommy! Yes. Anywho, um, so I'm just gonna do like a simple getting ready with me. I'll talk about my life a little bit. Update, yeah, anyone who cares. My eczema's really bad on my hands, so sorry. Okay, be prepared for a lot of interruptions because that's normally what happens when I'm trying to do my makeup. So, yeah, I just hope everyone's doing well. Um, I'm trying to figure out how I do well. <laughs> By the way, I'm doing like a basic look. So, I have like a new schedule now. Like, I watch Romeo a week at a time, then his dad has him. <laughs> then his dad has him for a week, and then um, we just go back and forth, so. I did have to quit my job for that reason. It just didn't work with the schedule. And since then, I've low-key been struggling with money. But also, because of the time that I now have for myself, I guess, I've been kind of getting back to the things I really love, which is like being creative and coming up with ideas and stuff like that. So I recently started creative directing and directing. I definitely have a new found love for it. I'm not giving you the finger, I'm just... <laughs> or am I? Um, no. I found a new love for directing and creative directing, and low-key, like, it's something I've always done. If you didn't know, I was a part of a YouTube group. It was 13 of us, and I loved being part of, you know, coming up with the ideas for skits and videos and stuff like that, and it was just something I really genuinely loved. I stopped doing it when, like, COVID happened and, you know, life became crazy, but I'm now getting back to that, and I'm really excited to see where that journey kind of takes me. Not only for other people, but also for myself. So that was the other part of it. Like, right now I'm working with a couple friends and we are creating music together, songwriting, you know, doing music videos, stuff like that. And we're like kind of freshly, we're kind of newly starting to take that more serious and do it more frequently. Who the hell? Speaking of. Hello? I'm trying to have me and you have at least three or four videos out that we, that I shot and you directed before we go to LA. So we got Kenny's one video out, we're gonna make a second video. In the third video with one of his friends and in the fourth video i wanted to be with somebody completely different yeah so yeah um i just been you know trying to channel in some creative energy and creative thoughts and really stop sleeping on the fact that like i have talent because talent not shared is talent wasted for real is it really talent if no one sees like is that like for real like, like like that's what i'm telling myself recently like i just like for example like i've been journaling i journal whenever i can i haven't done it in like a while recently but just trying to attract positive energy and pa positive outcomes and opportunity and you know some people don't believe in that whatever but i do and i feel as though whenever i do write about something it comes into fruition and comes <laughs> into my actual life pretty quickly and most of the time like I just throw on like some manifestation sounds on YouTube. They have like 10 hour loops. I don't actually write for 10 hours, but I put it on. I make it a moody little scene. I put my little um, sun lamp on and I just write, you know, whatever I'm feeling at that time, whatever speaks to me, I just write it down and I write it down with a lot of intention and a lot of, what's it called? I just be, I'm just very specific basically. And I try my best to also involve like what I'm feeling and I talk about things as if they're already happening and in the moment when I'm writing stuff down I just get really into it and it's just like life itself almost tunes out while I'm like in whatever I'm writing. I don't always have the best mental health. I don't always feel the best. I'm a person. I go through things. Sometimes I get stuck in like negative thoughts and you know, I feel like that's just right like reality with life, reality with this stage of life. Like I'm 24 years old. I do have a two-year-old like it's not the same as when I was like a teenager and life was like oh my god it's like this crazy thing like I can go out I can do whatever now it's like no girl like let's hone in and let's get like ourselves ready for like the rest of our lives basically so that's kind of where I've been at yeah me and one of my best friends we started a podcast together it's called a young milf podcast we are both mothers and you know we're both cute so <laughs> why not we basically go on there and just like talk about our lives, the reality of being a mom. I feel like at certain times though, like everybody might feel like they're like a bad parent. Recently we've been talking a lot about things having to do with mental health, with being a mother and just 
a woman in general. Because at the end of the day, that's what matters is like, am I okay with me? Mm -hmm. And do I feel like I'm doing enough for me? That is definitely a huge outlet for me and for her and because being being a mom especially at this age and you know we still both live at home you know we're still figuring things out every day still you need to stop running everywhere you're gonna fall all right i love our podcast i think we're slowly but surely growing to have like a great audience right now we're low-key global like <laughs> it's talk, so... it's talk. I'm saying like it's talk. It's talk. Huh? It's talk. What's stuck? I'm just really excited to see how like everything develops as time moves on as you know I take things in my life more seriously I do want to start vlogging these things and sharing those things with you guys I think on here I've said in so many episodes like oh my god like I can't wait to share stuff but I really want to like do that because a lot of the time I'll be in the middle of doing something in the middle of you know shooting a video or whatever and I'm like why why did I not vlog this like this is insight into a different part of my life that I don't always share hold on i need to concentrate but yeah i'm just i'm really just praying and hoping that things start to look up for me um i mean right now i'm here i'm calm i'm relaxed but trust and believe like every day i'm stressing i'm overthinking sometimes i just get really in my bag like i, I can't be the only one that does that but i just get really into my bag where i'm just like oh like why like i want so much more like i'm impatient like all that stuff i'm just trying to make sure that me and my little man you know, we're set in life, and that just means I need to step up my game, because reality is, like, <laughs> what is he gonna do? He's fucking two years old. Between, you know, the podcast, directing, maybe YouTube again, I don't know, and, like, making my own music and visuals and stuff like that, like, I'm just praying, like, something, something come to me, you know? So I'm just, like, bringing that in, bringing that energy in, and if you're in the same boat if you're if you're the same way or maybe you don't want to do anything that i just said but just you just want success in your life you want success in your life whatever that looks like for you like there's no real definition that you make your own and you make it true to you yeah i just i just really hope that we all get what we want out of you know this life that we're living i have no idea where my lip gloss is so we're gonna use aquaphor i'm pretty much done so let's go back to this guy over here don't mind his bed. I had to wash the sheets because he pooped on them. Wait. Romy, do you have any last words? I see bubble cake. Can you hold it? You hold it. Say hi. Hi. I say bye bye. Bye bye. Mm. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> he can't. He can't. Mm. Yes. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you soon. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for watching this video. I will be back for more. I promise. This time. Fingers crossed. Oh my God, he just fell. Um, I'll see y'all soon. Please pray for me. Pray for me. See y'all. I've fallen out many times I get hurt almost every time I still want that shit from you otherwise Can't eat the play guy for playing the game You gotta drop your apples Wait, where are going? Romeo, you're gonna drop it And there you go Oh, you're dropping them <laughs> I still love the way you put it on me Pull me closer, baby, hold me Never let me go, feeling in my soul Even if it's for the moment